Hey y'all and welcome back to Shauna Ray, a cooking and cleaning channel for busy moms. Today we are going to be doing a, another low carb weekly meal prep video. I'm going to be showing you what we made for breakfast, lunch, dinners, and snacks for the week. My husband is doing keto and I am doing low carb. I'm going to share with you guys everything we prepped. And since becoming a mom, I, it literally is like I found my purpose. Um. We are going to get started today by making some buffalo drumsticks in my Instant Pot. So you're going to need some drumsticks, of course, some garlic powder, some chili powder, some paprika, some pepper, and then your favorite keto-friendly buffalo sauce. I actually ended up not using this brand. We ended up using the Sweet Ray's brand. I'll show it here in a little bit, but we ended up using that brand instead. But you just want one that doesn't have any sugars added. So first off, I am gonna go put ahead and put all of my drumsticks into a large like freezer size Ziploc baggie. And then I'm gonna go ahead and dump in my seasonings and shake it all around to get the seasonings coated all over the drumsticks. If you've been around on my channel for a while, then you know I don't measure seasoning, so I don't have the measurements here, but I will leave the original recipe that gave me the inspiration for this in the description box down below, and they do have um, seasoning measurements in that recipe. <laughs> Once the chicken is coated, we're gonna go ahead and get the Instant Pot set up. So I'm gonna put one cup of water in the bottom of my Instant Pot and I'm gonna put the little wire rack that came with it. And then I'm gonna set my drumsticks up so that the meaty side is pointed down and like the leg part of it, the, I don't know, the bone part of it is pointed up. And then you're gonna put your Instant Pot lid on and make sure the little valve is set to seal. And then I'm just gonna use my poultry setting on my Instant Pot and cook these for 15 minutes and then let them do a natural release at the end. While that is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and get some veggies prepped for me and my son. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna wash and cut up a orange bell pepper, some carrots, and some broccoli so that we can have them easy and ready to go for the week. For me, that is a really important thing about meal prepping is having things I can just grab and go because if I have to cut a veggie up to eat it, probably not gonna eat it. <laughs> So if you are not aware, I have an almost two year old little boy named Charlie. And so even though these are baby carrots and most people just eat them, he, I still cut them into like fourths for him so that they're skinnier, so that they're just easier for him to chew up. He loves to use dip and like dip these in ranch. They're just a little too thick still as baby carrots. Now while I was getting veggies cut up, my husband was getting his eggs ready. So he started off by just browning up some sausage and then mixing his eggs in. And then he does add spinach to his eggs as well as cheese. I showed the full recipe for his eggs in my last meal prep video. So if you are interested in that, I will go ahead and leave that linked in the description box down below. So as you can tell, my Instant Pot is now doing the natural release. And while it was doing that, I went ahead and got a baking pan lined in foil with a rack on top of it. Now my rack is kind of gross. So I went ahead and wrapped that in foil as well and then just cut slits in it. So there were still the slits that the grease and stuff could fall through. With my husband's eggs, he does like to take these jalapeno and cheddar sausages with them. So he'll just go ahead and prep those, put them all in containers with his eggs and the sausage. All right, so now my chicken is done in the Instant Pot. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the lid off. I'm gonna now take these drumsticks. First, I'm gonna preheat the oven so it starts to get to the boil, broil setting. But now I'm gonna take these drumsticks and I'm gonna throw them in another Ziploc baggie a few at a time and I'm gonna pour some buffalo sauce on top of them. This is the buffalo sauce we decided to use instead, Sweet Baby Ray's. My husband says the other one leaves a weird aftertaste so he wanted to try something different. 
And then we're just gonna set these out on our cookie sheet because we are going to broil these in the oven for three to five minutes per side until they're kind of like a crispiness on each side. Now while those are broiling, my husband got started on his fat bombs. For his fat bombs, you're gonna need some Hershey's cocoa, you're gonna need some coconut oil and some coconut flakes, all of them unsweetened. You're gonna use a cup of coconut flakes and you're gonna throw those in your blender or a food processor. And then you're gonna need half a cup of cocoa powder and half a cup of melted coconut oil as well. And all of those just get thrown in the food processor or blender together and you blend them until they're extremely smooth and creamy. We melt our coconut oil. I just put it in a bowl and then stick it in the microwave for about 10 to 15 seconds at a time, stirring in between until it's melted. Once the ingredients are all blended together, you're just going to want to pour it into an ice tray or some sort of mold so that you can stick it in the freezer so that they can freeze. These are ones that you do want to have frozen because they do melt very quickly. Coconut oil, if you didn't know, melts at a pretty low temperature. So you're gonna wanna go ahead and make sure you stick these in the freezer and leave them in the freezer, store them in the freezer until you eat them. And if you're doing keto, that's a super quick and easy fat bombs recipe you can make. You can add sh uh, like monk fruit or some sort of sweetener if you want. We just choose not to add sweetener stars. Once the drumsticks had been in the oven broiling for about three to five minutes, I went ahead and pulled them out, flipped them all over, and then I put a little bit more buffalo sauce on them before I stuck them back in the oven to broil for another three to five minutes. And that's it. These turned out really good. Cooking chicken in the Instant Pot just makes it so juicy and so, so delicious. They're perfect for my husband's lunches this week and for a snack for me as well. Next up, we're gonna be making some Monterey Jack chicken with our homemade barbecue sauce. So first you're gonna need apple cider vinegar for the barbecue sauce, some tomato paste, some garlic powder, paprika, Worcestershire sauce, onion powder, chili powder, you can also use cayenne pepper and liquid smoke, and you can add monk fruit sweetener if you'd like. I'm not adding any monk fruit, and we are actually out of liquid smoke, so I'm not adding that either. 
So first thing you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and mix all the ingredients in a saucepan on the stove. So I'm just dumping in my apple cider vinegar, my tomato paste, and then I'm also going to start adding some water and then the seasonings. The water is not exact. I ended up doing a little over a cup of it total, but basically you wanna add enough water to make it a barbecue consistency. And once again, I don't measure seasonings. I apologize. I was literally just throwing things in here until it got to a consistency I liked. I will leave the original recipe linked down below, which does also have the sweetener in it, as well as the liquid smoke, um, in case you want to make the original recipe. Once everything's combined, you just wanna bring it to a boil and let it simmer covered for about 20 minutes. And I did that while I was getting the chicken ready to cook. So we're gonna be making this barbecue chicken in the Instant Pot as well. So first off, I'm just gonna season my chicken breast. I'm gonna use chili powder, garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, um, and pepper to season it on both sides and then I'm just going to go ahead and put it in the instant pot again with one cup of water and I'm going to cook it on the poultry setting yet again for 15 minutes and then let it do the natural release. And before we put it in the Instant Pot, I did also take some of that homemade barbecue sauce that we had just made and I smothered a little bit of that on, one, on the side that was gonna go towards the top of the Instant Pot. Once the chicken breasts are done, we are going to remove them and put them on a foil lined baking sheet. We are also going to broil these in the oven. So first we're just going to baste them in our barbecue sauce. Um, if you had a basting brush, that would be perfect for this, but I don't, so I'm just using a spoon. And then you're just gonna stick them under the broiler for about five or so minutes until they're just a little like crispy, like goldeny brownish kind of on top. This is how much barbecue sauce I had left over from that recipe after I put it on my chicken. <laughs> Once those have just kind of gotten the barbecue sauce worked in there, we are gonna go ahead and top these with some mozzarella cheese, some Mexican blend cheese, and then some bacon that I had already cooked up and was already crumbled that I had in the fridge left over. I'm then gonna stick these back in the oven under the broiler for about two minutes until the cheese is melted and then they're done and they look so, so good. And that is it, you guys. That is everything we meal prepped for the week. My husband will take the buffalo chicken every day for lunch as well as the eggs for breakfast. I am not a breakfast person, so I don't prep breakfast, but I will take the Monterey Jack cheese uh, chicken for lunch as well as some veggies. My husband will eat the, the fat bombs. He also prepped some turkey and cheese. On the side, some almonds and some peanut butter all for a snack. And then I will take some sausage and cheddar cheese for a snack. And this time we actually ended up running out of Tupperware. So I have some of the leftover drumsticks still in a Ziploc baggie, but that's okay. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you're new here, don't forget to hit subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. Bye y'all.
some 